What's up everyone? This is the one and only Fernando Caro. If this is your first episode here on my channel, welcome. This is the Fernando Caro Show, also known as Rapid Evolution. Now, here in Rapid Evolution, what we talk about is my experiences through the lens of Fernando Caro, but the knowledge of some of the most incredible, most profound, when I say masters of masters in different fields of life, that I've had the grand privilege of not only studying, but analyzing and building a friendship around some of the most incredible beings, male and female. And so I can sit here with so much pride and ease and effortlessness to share these experiences as to what's allowed me to really rapidly evolve whether it's in the world of business, whether it's in the world of mindset, of spirituality, of whatever world you want to embark in. Let's just say the betterment of humankind, the betterment of your, being a master of your own life truly is what it is. Taking 100% responsibility for everything life has given you, whether the cards were dealt negative or whether the, call, the cards were dealt positive, you take 100% responsibility for whatever life has given you and you use these cards to truly burn and ignite that flame within so that you live the life of your fucking dreams and this is what this channel is about and during this time we're in 2020 we're now in curfew no more lockdown covid i don't know what happened to covid everyone what the fuck happened to covid like really though but now we have curfews and so during these times i've had a lot of moments where I had the opportunity and the privilege to really tune inside, look within myself, look within my own truth, to ask myself some very, very deep and intimate questions of what my purpose is here in the world, here in life. What, what fuels my fire to continue to go out and express my truest voice? Not to be the voice of what other people want you to be, to be the voice of what your mom thinks you should be, what your dad thinks you should be, what your friends think you should be, what your communities think you should be. No, being the voice that you create through your journey and speaking from your journey with zero apology because you as the product of your life, and this is where, this is the, I'm gonna share something very cool, is you as the product of your life you go out and you tell your story, you tell your lessons to life, and you tell humankind, mankind, hey, I've, for example, I've committed myself to the real estate industry, and I'm gonna talk more about real estate, more about being an entrepreneur, and that's what this video is about. I here am proud of walking the path of being an entrepreneur. If you're an entrepreneur right now, I want to say, regardless of how much money you've made, regardless of the experiences you had working for yourself, let's just say first and foremost, that you are already ahead of thousands, millions of people who are still in the nine to five and not to knock anybody in the nine to five, but the ultimate destination should be for you to work for yourself, for you to build a lifestyle where you truly in love, where every day is not a work day, every day is a work day within yourself. When I work on my business, I'm working on me. Every time I make a call to a customer, I'm working on my communication skills. I'm working on my ability to demonstrate to the world how I can bring value. And that is just a mere reflection of me. My business is me. And so the pride that I take now with the understanding that everything my business is about is are all the values and the philosophies that I carry as a human being, first and foremost. So let's be proud. Even if you've only had enough, let's say you just began your entrepreneur journey, let's say you're 20 years in, and you've only had enough to feed yourself, you should be 100% proud of that. And you can, I can wholeheartedly say, I respect you. I respect you with everything I got from one entrepreneur, from one man to another woman or man, if you've been an entrepreneur, if you walk this path, knowing how difficult, know, listen, anybody who's ever started a business knows the amount of battles they've had to face to even just launch a business. Why? Because you're fighting the ideas of many. Most people don't want you to take that initiative and walk that new path. 
They're gonna say, you're gonna fail. What happens if you don't make money? What happens if you don't make your bills? Fuck all that. What if, what if I do? What if I do live the life I want? What if I do create the dreams and aspirations and inspire another generation of people? What if I change the culture? What if my path, what if I focus on everything that I do want instead of focusing on the shit that you are trying to put barriers around me? And most people want to put barriers around you. Why? Because they're fearful that if you do break out, they have to face their own fucking bullshit reality. And you can never, ever apologize for you going out to the world, demonstrating your value, demonstrating your skill set, demonstrating your pride. Like, hey, I'm a man of my word, of my ethic. My fucking word is my bond. That if I say I'm going to sell your house, I'm 100% going to take everything in initiative to get you the result. Why? Because that is what you want, right? Well, I'm here to work with you. I'm here to get the job fucking done. And what I want you to know about me and my company and my business is that we will get the job done. Period. We will get the job done. And we have to have that sense of conviction and pride within our business. And this continues to sprout in me in all areas. The pride in my health, the pride in my mental stability, the pride in my ability to go out and communicate to the world, my pride in my knowledge and research to have that certainty and that fortitude to say, hey, I'm not going to second guess myself. I know what I know and I'm going to speak on what I know. And if anyone deems to challenge my ideas, to challenge my philosophy, hey, it's an open ground. But just know that I am backed with my experiences of life. And, you, and I'll tell you this, no one on this planet Earth can rob you of your experiences of life. And this is why I constantly vouch. Go out and seek and build and create new experiences. There are no failures in this life. The only failure is the thought of quitting or the thought of you being a failure. Other than that, everything is a learning experience. It's now a lesson that you can teach the younger generation or the people who are junior to you in that field. Nothing is a failure. Use what life has given you to suppress you as that burning fuel to ignite your flame. Fuck anybody who tries to speak down upon you for rising above. You see what I've early, early on in my career, early on in my upbringing, I learned that the eagles in this world don't flock with the chickens. I don't want to flock with the people who don't see the same values that I value. I want people who value me that I can value them in everything that they do. And I find it so fucking fascinating, so beautiful to have friends in all industries, all industries, people who have said, you know what, I'm, I'm done with whatever job I'm working, I'm done working for the other man. I'm here to build a world and live my fucking truth. Whether that comes in the form of you being a martial artist, dedicating your life to the martial arts, that's so fucking cool. Dedicating you kidding yourself to, you know, entrepreneur, if you're a real estate agent or mortgage guy or anybody in entrepreneur, Amazon fulfillment, uh, all kinds of businesses, man. I have respect for that person. Why? Because I know what it takes. I've been that guy who didn't have enough money for his gas tank. I've been that guy who had to wonder, how am I going to have my next meal? I've been that guy. I've been that guy to say, you know what? Even if I'm left in the streets, I'm okay. Why? Because every day, regardless of what the, con the conditions of my life are, I have the fucking choice to go out, to push my value, to show and demonstrate who I am to this world with zero apology. And no one can ever, ever fucking take what it is that I've learned in this world. And you need to know that about you too. You need to know that this is your story, that your story is so valuable to those who are around you, your friends, your family, your, your communities, the nation. Because the more you can rise up above the bullshit, you're no longer in the victim mentality. People want to be victims to feel bad for you. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Go out as the human rights that I have here in America. I'm going to go out and use my freedom to speak for the good of humanity. The good of humanity. That whether my product, my service, my word can now liberate the state of mind of those who listen to my message. But if you can't listen to my message, my message isn't for you. 
My message is for the one who can hear my message, who can hear my song, who can see my poetry, who can see my world and say, hey, that's pretty fucking cool that this man can go out and say, you know what, I'm gonna create a world for myself. And this is what I admire about every single one of you who seek the path of fulfillment, of betterment, of improvement, of stripping yourself of all the bullshit, all the victim mindset, all the shit that traps and barricades you. None of this shit is easy. But I can respect the man, the good human being, who says, you know what, I'm going to take it upon myself to break any curse, to break, break any generational curse, break any curse that my communities have said that I'm not good enough, break any curse that they said my race wasn't going to allow me to be, break any that I'm a minority, fuck all that shit, fuck all that shit. Let my value speak. Let my words speak. Judge me based on who I am and what my character is. If at any point my character is being unethical or unmoral, then I can be my biggest critic. I am my biggest critic. And I know that. I'm not fucking perfect. But I can be a bigger man to say that I am that guy that can look at me and say, you know what, I can be better here. And I'm knowing that this is my process in life, that I'll continue to walk forward. Why? Because I'm not looking back. I'm done looking back. I'm looking forward. And this is the mindset that we should all be in, especially right now. I had a lot of people reach out to me and say, man, I want to get started and build my business. I want to get started in real estate. What's the first step? I like that shit. I like the people that want to reach out, the people that want to ignite and get started. Play a game. Play life as a game and choose the game you want to play. If it's in the world of martial arts, if it's in the world of business, if it's in the world of spirituality, uh, the world of yoga, in the world of musician, actor, whatever you want to do, be the artist of your life and allow life to be the song that you play. And every day you love the song that you play. All right, guys, if you guys like this, drop a comment below, like and subscribe, share these messages, especially during this time. I know a lot of people are seeking some encouraging words, seeking some strength, some solitude, some fortitude to really rise up in life, to take responsibility and ownership of your own life, of your own mind. Because if it's not you, no one is. All right, guys, it's be the best and fuck the rest, IMC Nation. Thank you guys and continue to like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.